I use the whole body vibration machine, which is a lot of fun. We've got the Walney Wobblers, you know, as I get going. Yeah, it's um, interesting technology and it's it, it's easy. I used to I used to teach in a um, fitness studio, um, but now it's just more rehabilitation. The whole idea of the, this of Walney Cottage is it's a well-being centre, so it's part of the community, um, and it's to promote wellness rather than sick care. It has helped me. Um, it's helped me balance. Certainly helped me circulation because I also had severe Raynaud's disease and uh, I've lost weight as well so I've lost about one and a half stone. So. Furnace Wellness Day every Tuesday is a collaborative initiative uh, between the local NHS, patient memoirs and the local community uh, in Furness. We all know there's a lot of social isolation and a lot of untapped resource amongst the community. Um, I'm here with a couple of my colleagues and we're just here to facilitate some activities and some holistic therapies to some of the ladies and gents that come to the centre. Um, some of it's strenuous, we offer chair yoga and pilates but then we offer something called PIO which I teach quite a lot, like a 30 minute session which is getting the ladies sort of mobile, sort of mini squats, mini lunges, um, our movements, just basically giving them a modified version of what I would normally teach a, a younger age group. The people were isolated in the home homes so we decided to open this and let people know, particularly on Walmart we found it quite bad. So, just as a social inclusion, we have Knit and Natter group and we have various classes and this, that and the other. And it's grown and it's grown and it's grown. But my primary aim, as well as teaching, is to teach them how to help themselves at home. Because all of those treatments can be done at home themselves. So the people that are coming down are learning how to self-care, basically. And it's really important that we help the NHS by helping people to help themselves. Fantastic response. It started off two years ago with one individual as a carer wanting to take that initiative and Bernard Edgar Medical Centre helping them deliver that. We now have a footfall of around 150 people coming every week participating in various different activities. So we are giving them the opportunity to bring back the community spirits that we had in the past and uh, work as a society towards improving the health and wellness of every individual.